Guide for advanced shark diving. Number two, class number two. We're gonna talk about coloration. So sort of what to wear and what not to wear. So I'll start out with fins. Um, these are the colors that you would want to stay away from. Bright, what we call yum yum yellow. This was a test we did with white and yellow. These are two uh, contrasting, uh, even though white's not a color, two contrasting colors that you wanna avoid when you're diving with sharks. When you're kicking and you're moving, this will grab their attention and they'll think it's like a fish that's by you trying to get, um, hiding behind you and they'll try and go after it. So we definitely avoid using these two types um, of color, high contrasting colors, uh, especially yellow. Think about the big guy wearing the little tiny bright yellow Speedo walking down the beach. You don't wanna look, but you can't help it. And so it definitely stands out. And if you think about sharks where they're looking for the shimmer of a fish, and most all of the animals are trying to camouflage, um, bright, high contrast yellow fins or white fins are going to stand out significantly. So, uh, you know, and that translates across a lot of different boards. Um, we can go into uh, yellow GoPro poles. They like these. So uh, at One Ocean Diving, we, we try to minimize any kind of confusion points for the animals. So imagine your hand on this moving around and swells. Again, that looks like a little fish that's by you. So it's the movement with the color that really kind of um, grabs unwanted attention. And even if you think you want it, you don't want it when you're not prepared for it. So it's always better to err on the side of caution and try it. My biggest thing was probably like just going as like ninja status as possible in the water, like stealth-like. So black, blue, uh, gray, neutral colors, even red kind of actually disappears in, in, in the blue ocean um, to more of a neutral color. So just trying to pick those when you're getting equipment to dive in. So black fins like this, you might wonder why I have a bright little yellow patch down here or a circle down here, a white circle and yellow fin. So the reason that I have these here is because they're at the end of very, very long fin tips which means that while they might be a little attracting and eye-catching, it's attracting their attention more so towards um, the extreme end of an appendage that is not actually my body. Meaning that if the shark comes up to me, it's gonna greet this carbon fiber fin that's definitely not the tactile sense of any sort of animal that they're gonna eat or anything that they're gonna eat. So they might target on that, which draws their attention away from my body. So I'll oftentimes put these on the back of my fin to make it look like an eye as well. So even though it's eye catching, it's sort of simulating an eye. Um, longer fins will extend your personal space cushion, which we'll talk about later, how to use your fins uh, as a shark is approaching you and when that's gonna be effective and when it's not gonna be effective in regards to species. Now, a dark colored fin that would not really serve the same purpose would be a fin like this. And so these are great for you know shore break and body surfing, but um, because it leaves your heel exposed, you can imagine that looks like a small little lighter colored animal. And especially since it's outlining the heel, it's really gonna stand out and it's gonna be a sharp contrast. And so as you're kicking, you imagine this little white thing, which is your actual physical body, your heel, flopping around in the water, especially with bubbles, which as an advanced shark diver, you should know that bubbles and splashing on the surface do attract the shark's attention, almost like an injured animal. And so with these short little fins, you're probably gonna make more bubbles. It's going to 
um, define that white patch, which is your heel, and that's not something that you want them to be eyeing out. So you don't want them to uh, be checking out your heel. So don't use these fins if you're purposely diving with sharks. Now, regardless of what kind of fin you're using, the next thing that you're gonna wanna cover would be your ankle. Because if you're using a wetsuit, the ankle is still gonna be that little white patch. And some species are very, very light sensitive. And again, your appendages are moving through the water, very similar to the way a little fish would move through the water. So I highly recommend socks, not to mention it really helps out with blisters. So socks to cover the ankles. Um, you wanna blend in with your environment as much as possible. Extremities are more likely to be approached or interacted with, aka bit, than any other part of your body. If you look at all of the incidences that have ever happened over time, international shark attack file, most all of the issues um, and bites happen on the appendages. So depending on where you're at, I also recommend the use of gloves. I really like to use gloves um, to protect my hands, um, not necessarily from sharks, but also just you know, you're touching something or we're cutting fishing line off of a reef or you're handling rope or you're cutting fishing line off of a shark. Um, this can be very, very um, protective. So I like this one. This is the Excel. It's the anti-glove. And so I still have enough tactile sense that I can even still use my phone, which is pretty amazing. So highly recommend gloves and socks for the extremities, especially in areas where you're working with species that are more light sensitive. If you're going diving in areas where you know there's gonna be hunting, like bait ball activities, or they're going maybe someplace like Tiger Beach where they are gonna be chumming the water, sharks are gonna be super at high alert and more of a hunting light mode. So you wanna try and uh, minimize any point of confusion for them. And so that means, yeah, even the hands, you use your hands a lot, going, going in the gloves, Booties for sure, necessity. Um, if you want to wear a hood, that helps, but sometimes I like to hear things. Um, as if you have like really bright, bright blonde hair or something like that, you definitely want to consider using a hood and those extreme types of shark diving. Going in the wetsuits, you know, obviously um, staying away from yellow wetsuits. This is the inside of my wetsuit. We don't have yellow wetsuits because of, uh, you know, the, uh, the being stealth in the water, we want to stay away from that. Um, but you can see where these kind of colors would grab unnecessary attention. And I, I know they still kind of do fluorescent type wetsuits for surfing um, and swimming. So avoiding those. Going into something um, a little bit more neutral again. And Ocean's gone super uh, deep into it by developing a biomimicry wetsuit with Excel. So this is mimicking a whale shark, which is like the neutral um, kind of shark. It's a Switzerland. Uh, he doesn't actually predate on animals, but he's so big that he doesn't get predated on by very many animals. So this is a kind of a good pattern to, to mimic. And then she's got her tiger shark uh, apparel as well. The stripes help you identify as more as maybe an equal predator as a tiger shark. So being more dominant in the water, which is super key. Um, and then, you know, even blue works. She's got one with a little turtle line here. These are all great. And again, going back to the whale shark. Um, so any of these types of colors are gonna be acceptable to dive with sharks safely. Again, staying away from obviously the yellows. And going back to the, uh, the GoPro pole and more electronical stuff, we, uh, we have a lot of issues with poles like this even where it's clear and you have the GoPro that's putting out a frequency similar to like a hurt injured fish, right? The ampullae of Lorenzini on um, the shark's nostril areas will pick up the electrical currents in the water and they're more attracted to smaller items like a GoPro because it's going to mimic something that they're naturally going after like small fish. So if this is away from the body, this disappears in the water and then you have your little GoPro fish in front and it thinks it's there away from you. Um, so it's more likely to come at it. So avoiding clear poles like that. And again, obviously the yellow pole. And anytime you have small electronics, uh, you know, like phones in the yellow housing, the smaller the item, the more likely that shark will come approach it. Think it's like a fish. The bigger housings, not as much. They're gonna be a little bit more intimidating. But then if you go bigger sharks, like tigers or great whites, and those are things that could potentially um, still grab its attention because they are targeting bigger prey items. So with that in mind, um, always try to go as dark colored as possible. Uh, also mirrored lenses. Uh, they reflect the light in different angles and we've seen sharks just key in on that as well. So as cool as they look, maybe not the best idea uh, for going diving with sharks. 
The other uh, aspect I, I didn't really cover was like uh, watches. So like this crusty watch is a little bit darker in color. That's, uh, that's okay. It does have a little bit of reflection here. Kind of want to minimize that. I like to tuck my wetsuit over if I'm in those extreme scenarios so that the watch isn't exposed. Smart watches for sure do get a lot of attention. So you want to take those off. Don't even go in the water with smart watches. And obviously white or bright colored, anything on your wrist is gonna, when you're moving around, you're gonna do it no matter how aquatic you are on the water. It's, just, it's gonna be minimizing those confusion points. So even wetsuits that have mimicking stripe pattern, I know Hurley's got some really cool ones, but those maybe aren't like the best ideas for shark diving per se, um, where you have a white band or yellow band on your hand or even at your ankles where you are gonna be moving a lot more. So just think in the back of your head, is this gonna make me more of a ninja or is this gonna make me more of a prey item, right? So uh, go with the ninja status. Always the safer with shark diving.